Let's say you use your credit card to purchase a laptop overseas. As you enter the security code and the PIN, you basically give permission to the credit card company to deduct your money, which is nothing but digital information in your credit card wallet. On top, the credit card company charges you a transaction or processing fee for facilitating this. That digital information is then passed on to the merchant's bank and they receive an update of addition of this money, addition of a new digital information on their devices, and are probably charged by their bank as well. Money today is held by banks and financial entities in a centralized financial system, which maintains a ledger or a record of all our transactions. Decentralized finance or DeFi is an emerging financial technology based on distributed secure ledger, similar to those used by cryptocurrencies. This technology removes the controls banks and institutions have on money. Today, you might put your savings in an online savings account and earn a 2% interest rate. The bank then lends that money to another customer at 5% interest and keeps the 3% profit. With DeFi, you will be able to lend directly to others, cutting out that 3% profit or loss and get the full return on investment. With DeFi, individuals can conduct transactions through peer-to-peer -peer financial networks. Using software that records, collects, and verifies actions on distributed databases, you can now lend, trade, and borrow money from wherever you want, without any interference of a financial intermediary. You can access these databases from anywhere in the globe, as long as you have an internet connection. Decentralized finance is still a relatively new and emerging concept, and it is not with its own challenges. Because it is not regulated by a central accountable entity, there are still possibilities for scammers to find new ways to exploit it. DeFi also poses a threat to existing centralized financial regulation. But, if DeFi succeeds, it's more than likely banks and financial institutions will participate, so they can profit from it. You can get involved in DeFi by obtaining a crypto wallet, trading digital assets, and by exploring stablecoins. Obtaining a crypto wallet allows you to participate in DeFi, but be sure to save your private key. Trading digital assets is also an option. This will allow you to investigate the trends, explore platforms and assets benefits and risks. You may consider trying your hand at stable coins. They are far less volatile and will provide you with a steady start in the new financial arena of DeFi. We hope you found this brief video helpful. We at Blockchain Council offer industry-relevant certifications that are designed and provided in accordance with the most recent industry standards. If you wish to be a part of the decentralized finance world, enroll for our certification today. Also, let us know what you think we should explore in our future video in the comments area.